What's up, y'all? I am Christina, the community manager of CoBiz Richmond. And I'm Wesley, CEO of CoBiz Richmond, and we're here to discuss the census. First there was one, and now there is two. Yeah, see? That's what the census is all about. <laughs> Counting the people who are present to make sure that resources are al allocated fairly to take care of things like... Well, unfortunately, I did not memorize the list, so I will be looking over here to my right. That's right now. Um, the census makes sure that federally funded programs within certain communities... Hold on, can you say it like you mean it? <coughs> all right. <coughs> The census makes sure that federally funded oh, programs. Oh, that's doing too much. I mean, just be yourself. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. The <clears throat> census makes sure that federally funded programs are allocated to communities. Some of the programs are not all, but listed: the school breakfast program, medical assistance programs for AKA Medicaid. Who's that help generally? Like our elders and people. Yeah, elders, mm -hmm. people who are unemployed, that's really um, important, who've fallen right? on hard times. Yes, okay, especially sure. because the Medicare system in the country is the most expensive in the world. Mm, tell me, teach, preach. <laughs> federal, federal direct student loans and federal Pell grants. Thank God for mine and got me through school. Amen. Ashe. Section eight housing choice vouchers. Mm, why is that important? For people who don't have housing or can't afford. Um, housing within their communities. I understand. So making sure we have enough supply as well as the resources to support them. Yes, sir. All right. The federal transit program is the whole reason why we got the new San Jose station mm -hmm. and um, Malpita station. So it can help like things like BART be better and stuff like that? Absolutely. Oh, right, BART, right. AC transit, whatever public transportation that you use mm -hmm. in whatever state that you live in, it helps with that as well. That's cool. Uh, supplemental nutrition assistance programs, mm -hmm. AKA SNAP benefits. Gotcha. So that's almost like having healthy, the healthy programs for like um, people who may not be able to afford the expensive groceries, but can have some healthy options. Yeah, it gives, uh, I believe this is the uh, financial assistance programs uh, or food stamps. Okay, now, so we got to do a better job of knowing it all. Yes, we do. And over Just the next like, couple of months, we'll definitely be doing our research <clears throat> and bringing you more information about why this census is important. Exactly. Keep it going, Queen. Oh, all right. So <laughs> unemployment insurance. By the way, I said Queen because the shirt has Queen on it. And I am a queen. Okay. Unemployment That's insurance. That's all my sisters are. <laughs> I'll show you. Mm -hmm. uh, Head Start early education programs, highway planning and construction, and last but not least, national school lunch program, which I actually was on part of my elementary and middle school. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The census touches so many things that impact us every single day. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep it short and sweet. Just remember this. If you're not counted, that's, like, that's at least $1,000 every single year that is left off the table. And you multiply that times 10, multiply that times 50 people, times 100 people, it really adds up. So do your part, go online, it takes less than five minutes, complete the census, and we'll continue providing what? More information. Yes, indeed. Videos, updates, all that good stuff. So Great thank you. content. Great content. That's what, that's what she does. <laughs> so thank you all. Be safe. Stay well. Talk to you soon. Peace.